Guys, what's going on? Alex here, Marzell Money. For those of you that already know me, you'll know I talk about personal finance investments. I have a high focusing into the crypto space. There's some big things happening right now, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and that's why I'm making today's video on whether or not you really need a hardware wallet like a ledger, for example. I'm going to be telling you my own experience of using one and whether or not I think it's worthwhile you buying one. The answer really lays in what kind of person you are and what kind of individual you are, how much crypto you have and many other factors which I'm all going to be covering in this video. So let's get straight into it. So one of the first things I will say, if you do have your crypto currently stored in uh, Coinbase or another big um, crypto exchange like that, it is safe. There's not, they're not going to get hacked tomorrow. They've been around for a long time and I wouldn't have any sleepless nights of having my cryptocurrency stored on somewhere like Coinbase. It's super, super safe. However, when you have your cryptocurrency on an exchange platform like Coinbase, and I'll keep using Coinbase because they are the main one we all know and use, you don't own the cryptocurrency as such. Coinbase own it. You don't own the wallet keys. You don't own the actual wallet it's owned by coinbase and although it is really really safe and they're a big big company and probably one of the biggest safest known companies there are ultimately if they were to get hacked if something were to happen then you know you don't actually have control over the cryptocurrency some of the benefits are you don't really need to worry about actually owning and storing your own hardware wallet. You don't need to worry about learning something new. It's really easy. You can just have a Coinbase account and you have a wallet. Really easy stuff. However, with a Ledger Nano, you can see mine here. I've got the Ledger Nano S. It's really easy to use, quite inexpensive. I think it's around $50, $60. There's a link below the video, by the way, if you want to buy one. And I'm going to be telling you now why you may want to own a Ledger Nano to store your cryptocurrency. Now, the Ledger Nano, you can have different cryptocurrencies on there. You can add different wallets. So you can have all your main ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Dogecoin, and you can add hundreds of different cryptocurrencies and store it all in your wallet. Now, the Ledger Nano S itself, it's, it's incredibly small. It's like a USB dongle. It's like that. And the way actually it works, it doesn't have its own battery. You can't be powered unless it's plugged in via this uh, like mini USB. You plug it straight into your laptop, computer, Apple Mac, whatever. And it's really, really simple to set up and use. You'll have your own password on this, which will be um, like a six digit number. And also for further measured security, it's not just the password. So if someone found this, knew your password, they can't just send all your cryptocurrency out. The way that um, Ledger works, it has its own platform called Ledger Live, and that has a password as well. So you need to get into the password of your Ledger Live account, and you need to know the password of this, and only then can you send cryptocurrency out from your wallet. So very, very safe. And you're probably wondering, but what happens if I lose this? It's a tiny device easily done you could easily lose this if they find this they still need to know your six digit pin which unless they know it they're not going to guess a six digit pin it's it's impossible now if you do lose this device and of course you want to access your crypto again why would you not the way that you do that is what's known as a recovery phrase you have 24 individual words and when you set up your ledger nano the device will give you these 24 words you get three of these cards you write down each um, word in the 24 phrase sequence and you store this somewhere incredibly private, incredibly safe. And with these 24 words, you'll be able to access your cryptocurrency again. It's more important for you to keep this safe than keeping this safe. If you have this, anyone can access your cryptocurrency. So in ma so make sure it's hidden well, somewhere you'll remember, somewhere where it's protected. I, I suggest to keep it laminated and that way you can keep it really, really safe and it's not gonna get wet or tear or get any spills on it or anything like that. I would say the main benefits of having a device like this is for increased security and also for hosting multiple cryptocurrencies all in one device that's offline away from hackers away from viruses if you don't own a whole lot of cryptocurrency let's say your total net worth your total portfolio is less than two percent of your net worth in cryptocurrencies and let's say that's under a thousand dollars 
I wouldn't invest the $60, £60 pounds in uh, Nano. I would just simply carry on using Coinbase because it's really safe and it's only really an additional safety. If I had, let's say, more than a thousand dollars and it was more than two and it was more than two percent of my net worth i would certainly invest in one just because of that peace of mind to have that added layer of security i'm going to show you my screen quickly and i'm going to show you exactly how you use the ledger live interface it's really easy to use and before you buy one it's important that you see how it works so i'll show you that now quickly and by the way guys if i have provided value so far make sure to smash that like button that will really help this video and help the channel out i appreciate that okay guys so this is the ledger live um, interface that you just download onto your computer or mac i have blocked out my uh, portfolio here because it's, obviously it's a private amount this is where i store all my cryptocurrency and i don't need to share that with the world i will be doing other videos where i share my entire portfolio including cryptocurrency stocks so i'll, fa I'll save it for that one and if you want to keep informed with that subscribe to my channel where i talk about bitcoin growth stocks gold silver and other kind of growth investments so subscribe to the channel while you're there so this is how it looks and how it appears you've got your portfolio balance and you can store different cryptocurrencies. At the moment, I have Ethereum, XRP, Cyber Network. I don't currently have Bitcoin stored in here because I recently, if you saw the video, sold Bitcoin for Ethereum. So I'm holding much, much more Ethereum and my Bitcoin is simply used just for trading now, which I do on Bybit. If you wanna trade Bitcoin, Ethereum with leverage, um, there's a link to Bybit below and you can sign up and actually you can win a Ledger Nano. If you deposit more than 0 0.03 of a Bitcoin, you will be in a chance of three people to win a Ledger Nano. And that's a special offer using my link only thanks to Bybit. But yeah, this is the asset allocation. It breaks it all down for you really nicely. This is where you see your accounts. You can see how it's broken down into different cryptocurrencies. You can simply add an account here, which is a cryptocurrency. If you want to send, you can send crypto from here easily by selecting which coin you want to send it from, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, or any other cryptocurrency that you have. You can receive cryptocurrency. What's important to mention, guys, you don't actually need your device on you to receive. You can simply go to any one of your wallets. Let's say, for example, Ethereum, continue, and you can say don't have your device. It will ask you if you're sure because you obviously want to verify the address and you would do that for your wallet. But for receiving cryptocurrency, as long as you've got the address, it's perfectly fine. However, you will not be able to send out your cryptocurrency without plugging in your ledger device that's a security feature so if someone logged into your ledger live account they would need the physical device as well and the password to unlock it to send out cryptocurrency it's a safety feature now through ledger live you can also buy and sell cryptocurrencies which is a really easy feature so you can do it all within the same platform so you don't actually need coinbase you can swap currencies you can exchange for example bitcoin into ethereum ethereum into bitcoin and any of the other cryptocurrencies and you can also lend out your cryptocurrency here where you can earn an interest on your currency. So if it's all stored within the Ledger Live exchange, you can actually lend it out and earn interest on your cryptocurrency as well. So that's another great feature of owning a Ledger Nano S that can essentially pay for it. Again, if you do decide that you want to buy a Ledger Nano, link in the comment section below. Um, you can use my link. It's an affiliate link where I earn a small commission. That's your way of supporting the channel as well. It'd be much appreciated. If you've enjoyed the video, do make sure to smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.